Welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about constructors, okay? And so without talking much, let's just get on it. Uh, so first of all, what is a constructor, right? Constructor is another way used for creating, you could say, objects, okay? And how do we use constructor and how do we create them? Obviously, that's the thing we're going to go over in this lesson today. So let's go ahead. I'm going to create a new uh, package. And I'll just say constructors. I'll finish. I'm going to create a couple of classes. Um, in here, let's just call it I'm going to call it my constructor. Okay, my constructor, I'm going to do it at public static void main. Okay. Do it this. I'm going to create another class. Let's say I call this animal class, right? I'm actually going to type the word class in here as well. It doesn't matter. You can leave it whatever it is. But let's just say I just call it animal class, right? In this one, I'm not going to check this main method. Okay. And I'm just going to finish this. Now, in this constructor, right, if I want to use this animal class, right, uh, what I can do over here in this constructor, if I go over here and I just say animal, animal class, right, then let's say animal equal new animal class, right? Again, that's just the, that's the, that's the, that's the one I just created. Right, that's basically how you create an object of this of the class. So of this, I just created this animal class right here. If I want to do anything, animal class dot. You know, obviously there's nothing in there. That's why nothing shows up here, right? So if I go back to this animal class, if I if I you know uh, write something, let's say I have a string, um, animal type. Right. So I have animal type. And then let's say I have int age, right? Or I can say animal age. Animal age, just to keep it consistent with the word animal. So, anyways, you know, I have this, right? Obviously, there's nothing else over here. Now, if I go back over here and if I do this dot, I have both of these things show up animal age and the animal type, right? So one thing, let's say I actually want to print out the value over there, right? So animal class, oops, I'm sorry. So let's say I do S out, and then I do animal class dot, and I have these two show up, animal age and animal type. If I have animal type, I run as Java application, it gives me null, right? It's because the reason being is because I don't have anything in here, right? So one way, so we can have, because in Java, by default, there will always be a constructor. So right now, over here, I'm not, I don't have anything in here, right? I, I, don't, I don't have anything put in here. This value right here, there is nothing, it's just blank. So in Java, by default, there is always a default constructor that is blank. And how do you create a how, how do you create a, a default constructor? You just basically say uh, public or here I'll just show you a better one. So one thing to know how we have how we created the class we have public class animal class right. One thing to know about constructor is that we cannot have any return type or anything like that. We literally just have the word public and then the class name. Class name has to be as is. So Right now, a shortcut is if I just type in the word animal, you see, it just gives me the constructor right here. So if I click on this and I just uh, do public animal class. See right there? That's the that's the default value that I have right now. This is a this itself is a constructor. Okay. This one is a, a default constructor. Okay. Now as you saw, if I go over here and if I just run as, it just gives me that null value. 
So if I want something returned, in this case, what I can do over here, I can say, let's say I have, um, let's say I have, Uh, let's say I have animal type, right? Equals, let's say I have dog. There's an example, right? There's, there's that. If I go ahead and if I just type, if I just print this, see, that's the default value. It just gives me that uh, type and dog. Now, it's kind of weird, right? Having the same thing over and over again. What if I want different types of animals, right? I don't, I don't, I don't want to be doing that thing. I, I don't want to have dog return every single time. That's kind of weird, right? So in this case, what I can do, um, this, this is not, the, this is a default. So what I can do over here, let's say this animal type, right? I can have that. I can have. String, oops. Animal type, right? Oops, I cannot type today. String, animal type, I have this, right? And what I can do over here, I can have animal type equals animal type, right? Now, the problem with this is I have this thing right here. I have I have this string right here, right? And then I have this animal type, and then I have this animal type. Now, this is not understanding whether I'm talking about this thing or if I'm talking about this thing. So in order to avoid that, what do you have to do? Um, and as you can see, we have this string type that we are putting in over here, you're passing through, then we have this animal type equals animal type. So in order to in order to differentiate that this thing, this specific keyword, we mean this, and this animal type here, we actually mean this. How do we overcome that? We overcome that using the keyword this, like actually using this keyword this, this dot. So using this dot, whenever you have you have you put whatever you put after this, it basically grabs it from here. And this animal type right now is pointing to this. Okay. So now what we can do, right? So let me just go ahead and save this thing really quick. Now what I can do over here, as you can see right now, I don't have any default. I don't have any default. Right. So right now it's asking that I have to pass in a value. Okay. Then it's it's it tells you that you need you need thing in there. So what I can do over here, let's say I go over here and I say dog, right? And if I was to print this, animal class dot animal type, run as, it gives me dog. Now, if I change this to, let's say, cat, See, it changes automatically. Now I don't I don't need to say over here whether this is a cat or a dog or anything like that, right? That's how I can differentiate. And same thing over here, if I was to, here, I can just copy this. I don't have to do it again. For the age, right? For the age, int age, same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, int animal age, int animal age. So I can do over here, int animal age, int animal age, right? So right now it also knows the difference, right? It also knows the difference. By, I know we can say a different name over here, right? Okay, I could have just said age and that would just solve all the problem, right? I know you guys are probably thinking that, that, you know, why can't you just use the age? 
So you don't need this this specific keyword. Yes, you're right, but general uh, generally a best practice is to have the same name, same name as whatever you declared over here. That's why we, we have the same name over here as well. So just use this keyword, this dot, and it'll be, so that way it'll know which one you're pointing to. So same thing over here, right? Uh, if I just do this, if I go to this constructor, now as out animal class dot animal age, right? I have this. Now, if I was to run this thing, again, it just gives me zero, right? That's just as default. But uh, same thing over here, if I was to just put in, um, if I was to just create, I'm sorry, not that way. So if I was to just do animal class dot <clears throat> animal age, two, There you go. <clears throat> this equals two. Now I have this. If I was to run it, it gives me two. Now, what if I want to combine both of them together, right? There's an option for that, right? Again, you do constructor. There you go. So I'm not sure if you guys saw that really quick. I'll just do that really quick. So if I just type in this animal class right gives me the constructor so i just clicked on it it just typed in that thing for me so in here <clears throat> i can say string animal type and then i can say int animal age right and then as same as before i can say this dot uh, animal type equals animal type. And I can have this dot animal age equals animal age. Okay. Uh, animal age. And then animal age. Yeah. Okay. So I have this, right? Now I can create, now if I do animal class dot, so again, this is the, this is the object we created, right? So I'm just calling it multiple times. Or if I was to do, let's say I created another, I created another one, animal class equal, Yeah, animal class two equals new equals ah, hold on. equals new animal class, right? I can have this and let's say eight. And if I was to print this out. S out animal class two dot animal type okay and plus let's say I have a little bit of spacing in here animal class two dot animal age because I passed in this value cat and eight, it should give me cat and eight. Okay, so just remember that you have to use this keyword if you want to use something over here. But again, this is basically how you create constructors. So you cannot have the word class or you cannot have the any return type. You cannot have uh, like over here, I cannot say public int. I cannot say that. I cannot have public void. I cannot have public string. I, I cannot have any of those. It just it's literally just the name, just the just the thing public and whatever the class name is, you have to say it exactly as is. Again, right now I cannot 
if I go over here, right, if I go over here and I try to create, let's say, uh, minimal class, uh, animal class three equals new animal class, right? So I cannot have a default one right now, right? Without blank, right? So the reason I cannot have a blank one right now is because again, by default, there is a blank one that exists. But as soon as I create the first one, I cannot have that anymore. Now to overcome that, we can just, it's pretty simple to solve, right? What you can do, just do public, oops, public, animal class, right? Again, this is the default constructor, right? So now if I go back, see, it doesn't give me that issue anymore, okay? So yeah, so you can, as soon as you create this first one, as soon as you create something, you can create a constructor, uh, the default constructor goes away. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful guys to you. Um, and obviously remember this keyword, this, uh, if this was helpful, please drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah, keep keep keeping uh keep on the channel for the next uploads. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.